First question is how to apply wave theory. There are so many answers to it, but one of the things that you can do is actually you can apply it based on the highs and lows when it comes to applying the wave theory. So when you look at the market like this, how you can actually recognize a wave is actually you kind of take these highs, right? Take these highs and take these significant lows and actually it depends on the trader. Some people might take these highs, right? Like these small highs and lows as important highs and lows, but I wouldn't take these, but I will look at more bigger picture. And first thing you can do is you can just mark these highs and lows. Like this is so classic way that I'm doing right now. Yeah, you can just take highs and lows like this and you kind of connect these dots like this. And then you get the wave. I think this is the most you know, simplest way to actually draw waves. So this is basically how you can draw waves that you can actually look at these highs and lows of the market and you mark it and you kind of draw lines, right? The question I think is that if that's wave, like I wave or V wave or N wave, right? Which one it is, right? That might be the question, the next question that you might have. I wave is basically the uptrend or downtrend where the wave only lasts one time, right? Like, uh, you know, one single shot. So this is I wave right here. Let me just do this again. Uh, this is I wave right here. And this is, uh, all right. And let me just look for another I wave somewhere. And actually, if you look at the market, it's all about the combination, right? Between I and V and N, you can possibly say that everything is I wave. It's kind of tricky, but everything basically is I wave the market but after i wave you might see v's right like v's like this this is v wave because after this it's not really renewing the high and it's not really moving up from here right at this point it just stopped it and started to go down so this is v wave you can say and then after that it became reverse n wave then going down again here and so when the trend is persisting like this when the trend is actually moving up or down this is basically the market is moving n wave basically when it's on the trend so when the price is below kumo you know below kumo here right you, you already know about kumo right you already know about the uh, about the angle of the kumo right you're, you're getting familiar with it i'm sure so the kumo is right now moving down in the past right here, the Kumo is moving down and the price is coming all the way down, right? So in this case, these are all N waves basically. Or you can draw like N like this way, one, two, and three, and four. So this is consecutive four N waves and the market marked the lowest here. And after this, the market marked I wave just one time and then the market marked the V wave here and then market marked the reverse N wave. This is reverse N wave right here. And then the market reversed to the upside. N wave, one N wave and two N wave. And right now it's creating the third N wave to the upside like this, right? So I think the market is going up because this is in the middle of upper uptrend and this is creating the N wave right now, right? The third N wave. So the trend is, I think the trend uptrend is pretty strong in this case, according to the wave theory. Okay, so to answer your question, this is how you actually apply the wave theory here, right? And of course, you can kind of combine these waves and also the time and price as well as the five lines of Ichimoku Kinko here, basically.